Next is again, this is a bulk carrier actually. These are all cargo gears. Bulk carrier, these are all the cranes. Electric, electro hydraulic cranes are used for lifting the cargo from the cargo holds here. This is a small bulk carrier actually, not a very big, that is why only two cranes are, three cranes are there, one, two, three cranes are there, three cranes are there here. Bulbous bow is not here actually, this is the bulbous, little bit of bulb is here actually, very clearly you can see some fully of the ships. Loaded. This is not fully loaded, if fully loaded means, fully loaded means the water level will be up to here. This is a water level marking. The color differentiation you can see here. So this is not a fully loaded vessel. This is a container vessel. You can see lot of containers or their boxes are there on the deck. These are all different layers, three layers, two layers, boxes. This is a small container vessel. I will show you some of the big containers also. Very small container vessel. Again a very big container vessel. Lot of container boxes are there inside. So this is the superstructure or the accommodation. This is the rear side or the back side or the aft side of the vessel. This is the forward side. Vessel is going from here to here. It's going out of the jetty actually. These are the small vessel is called the tug, tugboat which is helping. And then this is going out of the jetty actually. This side is the front side of the vessel. What is this? This is the roll on roll off vessel actually. You are having here. You are having a ladder sort of a thing. This you can be taken out here. And then through that, the vehicles will be going like a jangar, you see, platform sort of a thing. This platform, seal is there, proper water seal is there, so that water will not leak into the vessel. Pakka sealing is here. So this is a roll-on, roll-off vessel and the vessel is loaded from here, the back side of the vessel. Sometimes you can have the vessel loading from the sideways also, depending upon the type of the vessel. Here in this vessel, you see, the loading is done, cargo loading or the vessels are, automobiles are taken, driven taken into this through this platform which is now kept vertically up and into this vessel. So this is a roll-on, roll-off vessel. This is a tanker vessel, oil tanker, very big oil tanker but it is not fully loaded. She is going on a ballast passage which will tell you what is a ballast, deballast and everything. That means there is not loaded. You can see that this line is the one which is fully loaded. When the vessel is fully loaded, water level will be up to here. So she is not loaded at all. And then she is going for taking the cargo, going to Gulf for some loading point where cargo will be taken. This is another tanker vessel. Here you can see the bulb. Bulb, you can see the bulb here. Very clearly. I will show you one more very close up view is there, which you will be able to understand. This is the gas carrier. Again, it is not a very big gas carrier. These are all big spears are there. Spears. All these spears are gas, liquid, liquefied gases are stored in this tanks. One, two, three, four, five tanks are here. And then there will be a catway. Catway means a way through which you can walk. It is called catway. On the tanker and the gas tankers, you are always having a catway. Walking up, going up, ladders are there. And then you can walk from here completely, a gas tanker. And this is the accommodation area. Like a flat, you can see different layers are there. And you are having a lifeboat. On other side also you are having a lifeboat for escaping from the ship in case of an emergency and various other parts we will explain. What is this? This is a passenger vessel. You can see that like a big building, you know, so many flats sort of a thing, very big. Maybe thousand people or must be staying there in that house. And whatever you, the township is moving, whenever a passenger vessel is moving means a big township is there inside. Everything you see. In a big city, 5 star hotel is nothing. This is 8 star hotel, 10 star hotel and all that much level. If you go into inside of these type of vessels, luxury is very big. 8 standard, 9, nine star like qualities are there inside. Very nicely furnished and everything is there inside. This is another vessel, passenger vessel. These, uh, these are all uh, lifeboats. Passenger ship, you know, there will be plenty people are there. To carry them, there are so many lifeboats are there, complete. On the other side also, there will be. This is a tug, small tug actually. In porters, Cochin porters also, we are having lot of tugs like this way, various tugs. Small vessel, which is used for bringing the vessel inside port or taking out the vessel or for any other auxiliary purposes. You will be having a fender, 
with this fender it can go and hit the vessel and pull push the vessel or then a towing will be there a rope will be taken and pulling the vessel out so a tug must have if you want to say a 1 lakh tonner you must have 10% of the bollard pull to that much capacity tug should be there to bring the vessel or take out the vessel all around you can see fenders tire fenders are here here will be having very solid fenders will be here because vessel has to push in back side also there will be fenders here so nothing should hit here also all around you will see fenders are there like a boat everything is there and this is again a vsp tug it is called voith schneider propeller that propeller is vertically it is kept down which kodungallur the boat kodungallur which cochin port trust is having here that is that type of vessel you can see all around vision all glass uh, windows are here so from here you can see all around the vision and then you are also having fire fighting mechanism here this is all fire fighting mechanism telescopic tubes are provided through which whenever there is a fire somewhere near this tug can go and take water from the sea and deliver the water where required for fire fighting purposes so these tugs also can do fire fighting services you are having fire fighting hydrants are here terminals are here and sometimes you can have telescopy pipes you can extend it up and then you can have the height so that you can reach more throw and height can be there more so tug is a small vessel used for berthing or unberthing or auxiliary purposes this is not provided not only for fire fighting that particular tug can also used to help fire fighting other vessels also that is why fire boat is also having separate exclusively meant for fire fighting you can have a fire boat we, here we are having in cochin boat actually fire flotilla separately exclusively meant for fire fighting actually otherwise also the kodungallur that type of vessel is also having a telescopic type of this thing through which you can discharge the water on to the other vessels or area wherever you want tug can be taken wherever you want to and then fire fighting is done throw pick throw can be done and you can direct that uh, jet to wherever you want and do the fire fighting water water is plenty available so normally we will use actually this next is very important like we are all born any born person or anything it has to die this is a god's wish only you can't live for long same way ship is born ship is constructed ship also has to die it has got its own death so how do we call it the normal life of a ship is divided into four stages actually so we said that anything born has to die that is a natural thing only so ship when it is born how it is born like ship has to be designed first of all design office that is a design stage first where the drawing design and drawing because somebody wants to go and say for example you want to buy a ship or make a ship then you will go to you may not be a naval architecture or you may not be knowing anything about the ship or so but you have money you want to get into the shipping line you want to purchase a ship you want to make a ship you want to run a ship all those things could be possible so you are going to a naval architect or a shipping company or a shipyard or somewhere and you say that i want to have a ship then naturally first question will be what type of ship you want what type of cargo you want to carry where you want to go where you want to take the cargo to all those thing lot of questions will be asked and how much cargo you are expecting to be transported so all those things he will ask you all these things a businessman should know but the type of ship and other things you may not know but you will ask naturally so when you give all these things okay i will be having this much what type of cargo liquid cargo solid cargo bulk whatever it is there so accordingly the designer the naval architect the naval architect designs mr sohan rai is a naval architect actually so, the naval architect only designs a ship marine engineer does not design a ship marine engineer only after the ship is constructed and is put it into operation he only operates and maintains a marine engineer whereas a naval architect he designs and then he constructs the ship of course that time the marine engineer's help is also required for making the ship fabrication construction everything is required so design stage is the first stage of the ship there 
the designing and designing is done in the design and drawing office of a shipyard or a naval architect's office or wherever it is and normally ships are designed in the shipyard only not uh, small yards and boats are all done by small yards and everything big ships are always designed in a big uh, shipyards or there are companies who are specially doing the design for example here we are having in Cochin Kakanad we are having one company which does only ships design for various countries they get the order from various countries like outsourcing they comes here complete design is made here and the design is sent to that particular country so that is also coming as outsourcing we are having in Kakanad one company is there actually so design is done normally in a design and drawing shop or the office of the shipyard so once this design is completed then drawings will be made how to construct the vessel lot of drawings are made for constructing the vessel so these drawings are delivered to the shipyard or the shipbuilding personnel that area wherever it is we want to call it so these drawings are given approved drawing especially these drawings are given to the construction people and then they will construct the vessel according to the drawing that is provided by the design department so this design department has to foresee the problems of the construction people otherwise you design something anybody can design anything but if that cannot be constructed what is the use we can dream anything but if you are not achieving we cannot do it the dream will go like that way only same way design is very easy but it should be practicable design you should be able to make a ship out of that whatever the customer wants accordingly you will be able to construct the ship again when you are constructing the vessel lot of international rules are there you can't construct a vessel the way you want it but there are construction rules are there international rules are there national rules are there so the designer when he is designing the ship in the office itself he will take care of all these things accordingly he will design the ship to comply with the national as well as international regulations for that for example SOLAS safety of life at sea that convention international convention you have to comply with MARPOL marine pollution rules STCW various convention international conventions are there which has to be taken into consideration while designing the ship so when you made the drawing so the design itself all these things are taken care of and then when you are building at the construction stage in the shipyard again you have to follow a lot of rules are there so they have to maintain all comply with all those rules when the ship is constructed whatever be the type of ship whether it is a cargo ship bulk carrier passenger ship whatever it is there again each type of ship has got importance so when you are constructing a bulk carrier or if you are constructing a passenger ship it is different construction is different if you take the cross section or if you cut it like this a cross section if you see like that it's called a cross section if you take a cross section the ship will be entirely different the cross section of a bulk carrier is different cross section of a general cargo vessel is different cross section of a container ship is different all are different because the purpose for which you are going to use the vessel is different so naturally construction is also different so construction stage is a very very important stage so design is again of course very important that is the time when the ship is born cradle then it is taken to the cradle at the construction stage and then from the cradle it is ship is launched when the ship construction is over then what happens ship is launched into water till then construction is not over ship is there in the yard itself but many times if you construct the whole ship then launching becomes a problem so normally when the hull area outside everything is finished construction is finished no more water will leak into the portion of the vessel in that time you carry the take the vessel launch the vessel out of the dry dock where the vessel is constructed and then take out of the dry dock then you go and tie it up alongside a jetty and from there other constructions are going on superstructure everything simultaneously you would have made the superstructure etc separately and these things will go and fit weld it and put it in the place unit wise it will be made prepared sometimes it is all subcontracted also different companies so unit number one will go first number two will come here like this way all these things are fitted 
so in the dry dock the main hull is prepared first so that it is water seal no more water will go into that and then the vessel will be launched out with of course propeller will be fit these are all underwater area whatever is there in the underwater area that work has to be finished before it is launched into this so the work is construction work is normally done either in the dry dock or in a launching platform from there the vessel can be launched into the water so i will show you some of the photographs how the launching is done you can do launching by straight away towards the back side or you can do sideways launching also all these things very nice to see the operation i have uh, videos so that you can see how the ship is launched so this is the uh, construction stage so construction time again we have to maintain comply with all the rules and ship is constructed fully constructed everything whatever the design people drawing has given approved drawing like that the complete design of the ship is constructed everything is over construction is over now what happens you have to put the vessel for operation commercial purpose before that again lot of things are required you have to have lot of certificates statutory mandatory certificates are there classification society surveyors will come on board they will do the supervision work also during the construction work itself they have to see that the ship is constructed as per the design the classification society surveyors lloyds surveyors abs surveyors dnb surveyors ir surveyors whatever be the classification accordingly these people will come and see how the ship is constructed supervision is the direct supervision will be there under them and ship is constructed then ship has to have all the certificates classification certificates should be there for example class hull class machinery or class boiler all the separate classification certificates are there and again you must have mandatory statutory certificates like tonnage certificate safety equipment certificate safety radio certificate various mandatory certificates are there on board you have to have when all these things are finished after the construction all the survey work are finished ship is given all the certificates then you have to take the insurance then only you can take the vessel for commercial purposes these are all mandatory and if you want to take the insurance you have to have the classification survey done properly certificates should be proper everything so one behind another one so after the only if you get the certificates then only you can take the insurance when insurance is also taken then this vessel is put for operation then the people marketing people will try to get cargo for that and immediately they will take the cargo get the cargo or if the cargo is not available there where the ship is constructed then the ship has to go to somewhere else to pick up the cargo for example if the ship is a tanker which is constructed in cochin port trust for example Co sorry cochin shipyard if it is constructed then ship we don't have any cargo from here so ship has to go to gulf where she will go there and she will take the cargo there and ship may come to india if the cargo is meant for india or if the cargo is meant for some other country ship may go there if it is an ioc indian oil corporation charter ship may go from here suppose for example shipping corporation vessel a tanker constructed in cochin shipyard she is constructed all the certificates everything is ready and she is now ready for operation then ship has to be insured ship has to be registered also like a car registry we are doing scooter car everything before putting into operation you have to register that particular thing same way ship also has to be registered so registration certificate will be there like rc registration certificate for a scooter or a car for the ship also we are having a registration certificate there you are writing who is the master of the vessel that is very important like here in the rc certificate you are getting the owner of the vessel you are writing same way there they don't write the owner they write the master who is commanding the vessel because master will be changing keep on changing another master comes again this registration certificate it should be entered mr sashikumar or captain sashikumar is the next time captain mobin will be there next time captain somebody else will be there in that so this has to be endorsed in the certificate properly so once the ship is registered she is ready for operation goes to gulf suppose she is an oil tanker she has to go to gulf to pick up the cargo from there and if she is under indian oil corporation char charter and she has to come back to india for delivering discharging 
the crude oil cargo which she has brought from the gulf and then bring it to india wherever port the indian oil corporation say sometime they say you deliver part to cargo in cochin part to cargo in uh, chennai part to cargo in mumbai part to cargo wherever they say because refinery required no so indian, indian oil corporation knows how much oil is required for each uh, places accordingly refinery they will tell the master of the vessel okay now you bring you uh, bring the vessel back to india deliver say 200 tons here in chennai and uh, 2000 tons in mumbai accordingly all the cargo will be distributed again she is empty again she goes on ballast again back to gulf and bring the cargo if it is an ioc chartered by ioc india india gulf india gulf she will be running or if she is uh, chartered by some other foreign company from here gulf the oil may be taken she will go to wherever the charter party wants to take the owner or charter party or the manager wants to take the cargo and deliver the cargo in that place wherever it is required to be discharged or delivered so that is the operation stage operation stage is a very critical stage again lot of rules and regulations are there you have to follow because the pollution mainly main thing is pollution during the operation time intended pollution or illegal pollution or pollution caused during operation various types of pollutions are there sometimes people just throw off the oil because plenty oily water is there in the engine room and you throw the oil out then what will be the result you will be arrested master will be arrested vessel will be arrested taken to the prison and the jail definitely and uh, fine everything will be there and nowadays the pollution is a criminal offense it becomes a very big issue you will be straight away taken into jail and uh, outside india especially us ports or uh, uh, european union places wherever you do pumping out of oil or oily water discharges the fine levied on you is very heavy throughout your life you work you will not be able to discharge or uh, give back the fine so you will be inside the jail and doing this only throughout whereas in india very con- very uh, countries many countries the fine imposed on the Uh, people those who are erring or creating problem like discharging oil or something very small amount is there so pollution is there in indian ports if you go to foreign ports the water is very clean crystal clear you can see the bottom of the sea like that much very dark blue means it's a very clear water even andamans if you go there beautiful water no pollution in andamans whereas if you go to cochin port madras port or anywhere you see all port is port water is fully polluted oil all uh, bottles plastics everything is there so pollution again is classified into six categories oil pollution and chemical or hazardous chemical material pollution and then carried in paper form or packaged form pollution and then sewage you know sewage sewage pollution garbage cooking material garbage pollution will be there and then air pollution pollution to the air so these six classifications of pollutions are there so during the operating stage very vulnerable actually very problem very big problem lot of international conventions are there pollution especially and then operation rules are there you have to comply with all these things when you are operating the vessel very risky area then your uh, operable life is over you are become old you can't carry the cargo so recycling is the last stage actually what happened she has to die she has what how she will die she has to be broken down or you know dis- completely broken dismantled and then she will be thrown out she we can't throw it in the sea so she can just cut it and then put it in the sea that is again a problem pollution again so recycling the word used nowadays imo that is international maritime organization uses the word recycling that means you are using the ship breaking and then used for some other purposes recycling even electrical items also tell our computers e e waste recycling like e everything we want to pollution control all these things actually now environmental control all these things we are recycling the vessels so big ships are broken down in big areas like port along for example in gujarat area the ship is broken and the dismantled pieces are there and this will be sold out again to various other parties and for shore job work 
even plate thickness 24 inch 24 uh, milli centimeter thickness plate is there that can be rolled again thinned down and that plate will be used for making some other ship smaller 24 can be lot of corrosion will be there so that pitting corrosion you re-roll it again make it into 18 size so that is okay can be used for some other vessel so it is not going as a waste it is called recycling so that is okay